Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I'm back with another resin tutorial. So today I am showing you yet another variation on my fun succulent gardens. So we've done a succulent garden and a cute little pink pot. We've done six adorable little succulent gardens in tree stumps and little slices of wood. And today I'm going to show you how to make a tiny container succulent garden. So this is very similar to our pot, but instead of an actual terracotta pot, I'm using a little galvanized dish that I picked up to make a contained garden that you can easily place um, on a desk or a windowsill or in your kitchen. It's a little smaller, easier to manage, and takes less succulents. So let's get started. For your supplies, you're going to need, as always, your safety gear, gloves, respirator. You're going to need resin to make your succulents. If you've never made succulents out of resin before, I will link to that tutorial down below. It's really easy. You're going to need a succulent mold. I've used three. All three will be on the post and some resin. Easy peasy. Then you're going to need your colors. I did different versions of green, sage green, greenish blue, even a little bit of pink. Mainly colors that you'll find actual succulents in the wild. That's what we're going for. Then you're going to need some rocks. I don't have many left, but they're just clear little glitzy rocks. I think I picked these up at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. I'll put a link down below and hot glue. So much hot glue. It's a pretty easy project. If you can pour resin into a mold and then glue a lot of rocks in a container, you can do this project. We're going to make it. All right, y'all. So I'm back with another succulent project because I just, I love how these turn out and I have to make all the little gardens um, I've made two so far. This will be my third and I just, I can't wait. So let's get started. We are going to start by filling this little guy with rocks and hot glue and making a base. So that's going to take a minute. I'm literally just going to be hot gluing rocks into place here. mush them in and move on to the next section. Get rid of any that don't stick. Now, of course, this is hot glue, so it's going to be in here. If you don't necessarily want to hot glue rocks, into your container then you can just place them in here um i did that with my last pot and i will i will put a link to that below and it, it did turn out really cute but i want these to be in here forever so we are hot gluing the other thing that you can do would be to make this a complete resin project. Fill this with your little rocks and then pour some clear resin over them so that they are all bonded together. And of course, clear resin will leave them see-through, which would be great for this. And honestly, probably easier, but I've already got the hot glue out, so we're just going with it this way. I don't think we are going to fill it all the way up. I think just a little bit will be enough, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna put y'all on fast forward while I do the whole base, and then we'll decide if we need to do how many layers, okay?
All right, guys, so you saw me do this on the last one, but I'm just gonna show you in real time and not on the acetone. All I'm doing to secure these is putting some hot glue at the base and then pushing stones into it to securely kind of fasten our succulents into our bed of stones. Um, if you're if you're doing this on a flat surface and you didn't do all the rocks, then it's not as hard. I did these on some wood pieces a little bit ago and they glued right to the wood. But since the stones are uneven, it's just easier to secure it with extra stones. So. So far, this big one I think was on a little bit of a flatter surface. It feels much more secure than this one did. Shake those extra stones out. But I think that's pretty good. I think we'll do a little more here and here and then do the last piece and we're done. I really like how it's turning out. Of course, the hot glue I thought was what was gonna hurt my fingers, but look right here. Pushing down on those stones is getting me. It's always harder in these kind of funny little areas, but there we go. Get all those hot glue strings out. And we'll do right here and then do the last piece. That mosquito just tried to eat me. Did y'all see that? Mosquitoes love me. I'm like their favorite person. I, on the other hand, do not like mosquitoes. Alright. Looking good. We will see. I think we're gonna have to put a little bit more right here to get a flat space for our last succulent. Kind of built up the base a little more. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's see. All right, let's see how it fits. Yeah, looking good. And I think this one should fit on here pretty easily. We may just need a couple stones on one or two of the sides. Fine with succulent, resin succulents. The more hot glue, the better. You can really bond down into all the crevices of those rocks that way. I'm just gonna put a little bit more around the side here. Hey, Lily, my cat came over to say hi. Are you helping? Are you gonna help? I don't know if you can help with this, honey. It's trying to glue to my finger, not to the other rocks. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Oh, I clean that off. Get this bit of hot glue out of there. That's a mess. And shake all the stones that aren't secure. All right, a little bit more right here. You guys can't see her, but my cat is sitting right to the left of my tripod, like. I'll just, I'll just watch the tripod, ma'am. Can't help with the succulents, but I can be a tripod supervisor. You're doing a great job, Lily. It's the best that tripod has ever been supervised. Ugh. So much hot glue. All right, one more spot and we're done. We're done. Yes, you're a great supervisor. Good job, good job. 
She's very helpful. Can you hear her purring? She's very proud of herself. I am too. Good job, sweetheart. couple pretty finished shots because it's getting kind of dark out here and this is very shadowy but I'll put a couple pretty finished shots but that is how you make a little container succulent garden out of some resin succulents a lot of hot glue and a lot of stones all right see you later bye all right guys what do you think I think he turned out pretty cute so here's our little container. How do you guys like looking at my like bottom of my face? And all our little succulents. This color sage is Dixie Belle's Sea Glass. And I'm telling you guys, it is my absolute favorite succulent color ever. Like if I was making more succulents, which I don't need to, I have a million of them. But if I was making more, they would all be this color. So this was a quick and easy project. The rocks actually stay in place really well until you drop it on your kitchen floor. And even then only a couple came loose. So hot glue for the win. If you liked this project, you want to see more fun resin projects, hit the like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications. I will be back with another fun project next week. Bye y'all.